In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the best play in Madden 22. This is the play in the route concept that all of the pros are using to prepare for the Madden tournament. Pretty much every pro player that I've come across or played against or watched on YouTube or Twitch is running this concept. So I wanted to break it down for you. It's in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. A lot of the pros are liking the Colts playbook. I personally prefer the Panthers if I was gonna run this play. And the reason why is because I think that the Y curl play is one of the better plays in the game that not very many people are utilizing this year. I think this concept from Y curl um, just absolutely obliterates cover three defenses. So I would encourage you to check out the Panthers book. If you don't want to, um, you can run this out of the Colts book. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. Uh, we've got a ton of content already on the channel. We've shown you pressure from pretty much every uh, defensive formation, in my opinion, that's really worth anything this year. So please check out all those pressures. We actually released our defensive guide as well. If you want to get access to that, I'm going to put that in the description. Best defense in the game, especially as the tournament's coming up. But I also wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about the double post. Now, for those of you that don't know, I released a Seattle Seahawks offensive guide pretty much day one of Madden 22. Got in the lab, really cooked up a bunch of lasers, and then got the guide out for you guys. And I've been updating that guide over the last couple of days uh, with just new concepts and new tricks that we're finding as we get deeper into this game. And so what I wanted to actually do for you guys is I wanted to also allow you, if you wanted to, to run or to learn some of the other very popular and very effective bunch concepts from other playbooks. So I've been labbing those myself and uh, kind of testing out all the different concepts that you can do from Gun Bunch. And so we've actually been updating that guide. It's actually received a major update, probably I think uh, about five or seven new plays that weren't originally in the original copy of the guide. So if you want to get access to that guide, we're committed to updating that guide um, over the course of the next month as new patches come out and as we find new uh, ways to work up the defense or cook up some dots for you. So anyways, that being said, you can get the offense in the description as well as the defense if you want to get them. And the play we're going to be talking about is double post out of the gun bunch um, offset out of Carolina. So this play was one of the better plays at the beginning of last year. And it is also one of the better plays at the beginning of this year's game. And what makes this play so good is that you have to cover um, you have to cover both outside and then you have this really powerful route in the middle of the field. So the setup's real simple as well. We're just going to simply drag this outside receiver or the slot receiver just like this. Now our first read every single play is if we can throw this tight end route, this is the best flat route in the game. Some players like to kind of re-flat that guy. In this year's game, it is truly the best flat route in the game. And the reason why it's so effective is because for whatever reason, number one, flats don't work properly this year. We all know that. But it also, if you throw it with the right timing, and I would recommend getting into practice mode and just kind of running this against random defenses to kind of get the feel for the timing of this. But what you're going to see is when you throw it out here, he keeps running and the flat zone actually turns up field. And you see that I've got a hard flat out there and I can turn that play. I can turn that play into literally a 15 yard dot. Just very simple. Just throw it out there, let him run, and that's where everything starts. Every single thing that we're gonna do starts with this play. So that's zone coverage against that play, and then I wanna show you something with this route against man. Oftentimes against man, this is gonna kill man coverage because of the way that this formation aligns itself up against the meta. Almost every pro player that I see online, um, especially anyone that I think is gonna make a major noise in the tournament this coming weekend, is running um, the 335 wide and basically running last year's defense, which we've shown that on this channel if you want to learn how to run it. Um, but in my personal opinion, it's not the best defense for defending this gun bunch because look what this does. You get natural picks and rubs and they're not going to be able to stick with that tight end route. So it all starts with that route in my opinion. And then your next read from that route is you're going to take a look at your little running back peak route. And this little running back in route is really good this year. Um, hot routed running back in routes are really, really good. And then these routes are like even better. These routes are borderline overpowered. If you get man to man coverage, this little running back route is going to cut and just torch it. As you can see right there, we're going to be able to beat man for an easy um, 10 to 15 yards. 
So this is gonna force your opponent to really have to pay attention on the right side of the field. Now let's show them uh, the stuff on the left. So on the left side, you have this drag, which if you if they play hard flats, you can still throw the drag. And as you can see, I can spin up field real quick and easily get up field for you know about 15, 20 yards. Um, and I can do this very consistently. Uh, you see here, just throw the drag, spin up field and get going. So they have to kind of sit on that drag route. And in this year's game, if your opponent sits on the drag route, which I'm gonna mimic that by just manning him up with this guy, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna be able to go from your low to your high and just take this route to Brown. That route to Brown is one of the best routes in the game, in my opinion, and the reason what several things are what make it good, but one of the things that makes that route so effective is the fact that what you're gonna see is he's gonna get that inside cut and that inside cut is gonna allow him to get separation and get underneath a lot of zone coverage that could potentially bag him. So that's kind of part A of this. And so you're gonna force them to play hard flats on both sides. You're gonna probably start to see that they're gonna to have to drop some yellow zones in the middle to help with this drag so that they can go get the post. And that's where your C route comes in. You start to see the C route, just pass lead that to the left. And right there, I didn't get a great animation. One of the things that's really kind of, um, important for the C route and this is why I'm going to give you kind of a, a one other adjustment with this for this specific reason this year in this year's game drags don't get across the formation very fast so like when I drag R1 he doesn't always get across the formation fast enough to pull any zones down so you see like right there he did and that's what we were looking for you see that C route get open but sometimes if he gets jammed or he gets kind of caught up, especially with this year, with the momentum and all of that stuff, you're gonna notice that he's not gonna pull down any zone. Um, so you see here, see how he got held up here? So that's where you have to check it down to that route because the C route isn't throwable if the flat can play it in the backfield. So what I like to do as kind of a, a secret little um, addition is I put X, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna put square on a curl. And what you're gonna see is this curl um, will just sit open forever and as you can see the flat zone is eventually going to get pulled out so it's a great check down uh, read and basically that's what that left side is going to turn into is essentially a check down read now against man coverage as I said your drag route be gets open um, your curl will get open your in route will get open your X every route beats man literally every single route this year beats man the one that's the hardest is that one right there and it's because of that deep half um, if they don't have a deep half there, then, you know, it, it could be man. If you leave your C route, your C route does a little bit better in terms of spacing uh, against man. You see there now I can easily hit that post over the middle of the field. So it beats zone. It beats man. How about match coverage? Let's try some match coverage. First and foremost with match coverage, you ever see match coverage in this game? Take a look at what that does to the flat. Notice that the match coverage plays the flat better than a hard flat does. Last year's game, it was not true. Last year's game, you could just consistently kill the flats against match coverage. This year's game, they're gonna cover that. But the, the biggest thing is, match coverage honestly probably does the best against this play. But the problem is our play verticals, which is kind of the money play. Almost everybody that plays Madden right now knows how good this play is. If they try to run that match coverage against verticals, you're gonna see that we're gonna have a one play touchdown every single time that circle receiver is going to absolutely torch uh, match coverage. So the likelihood of them calling match is pretty slim, but if they do call match coverage, um, one of the popular adjustments is to take that safety and put him into a deep half. So if they make that adjustment, what you're gonna notice is your post gets wide open against that coverage. So if they do that, as you can see, that is open. Now, let's just say straight match. I do want to give you some options in case you do encounter match. My favorite option is the running back. You're going to see he's just going to cut and get easy separation for about 10 to 15 yards um, against the match coverage. And then the other route that I wanted to show, uh, your C route actually does pretty good because he's isolated and it's basically man coverage. Right there, you got a bad release. And typically, if they're running match coverage this year, the other thing that you can do is just put your solo receiver on a streak. And what you'll see is he will pretty much almost always get this animation where he gets an automatic win and you can just chuck it over the over the coverage. 
So that's another option. Uh, and what that means is most, most of the time, they're not going to jam you out of match this year because of that very reason. Well, what that creates is your crosser, your drag, all that stuff starts to come open um, when there's no jam because the, they get a free release, they get into their route, and they're able to get a step on the defender. You're going to see the C route will do the same thing. You see right there, he basically bodies them out. So this is truly the most popular meta play right now in the game. I'd encourage you to try it out. I think personally, this is just my personal advice, um, we've put this into our... Uh, guide with a couple of additional setups that you didn't see in this video but my personal opinion is that this is a great base play but it's not that much better than mesh post that's just my personal opinion um, I know that's controversial especially if you're a bunch guy and you love this play um, this play is really good but I think gun bunch um, mesh post you can kind of create a similar concept um, and so because of that and because of how good the clear out SE out play is from Seattle, I personally like to run Seattle if I'm gonna run bunch. However, if you wanna run this play, we've updated the gun bunch guide with this play as well as some other plays from the Carolina playbook or the Indianapolis Colts playbook, which is also one of the best bunches. It's probably, Indianapolis is probably the number one gun bunch um, if you don't value like a clear out SE out play or a play like white curl. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. And again, if you want to get my gun bunch guide, it's going to continue to update over the course of the next month. There's going to be a link down in the description. So you just head down to the description, click on that link in the description, and you can go pick up the offensive guide for just 15 bucks.